The University of Idaho is demolishing the off-campus home where four students were stabbed to death last year. Right before the demolition began, two of the victims' families pleaded with officials to preserve the home, arguing it could provide evidence during the trial. Ivan Rodriguez explains why their concerns didn't change the outcome. We wanted to pay our respects and um, watch the house get demolished. Crews knocking down the off-campus home where four University of Idaho students were brutally stabbed to death last November. Originally, the university planned to tear it down in July, but the plans were delayed until December when the school announced attorneys for the suspect, Brian Koberger, had been given access to the home in order to prepare for trial. Prosecutors also entered the home this month. Well, we certainly understand that there are a lot of emotions around that house and for the families especially. Uh, we also uh, listen to our community and uh, talk with prosecutors in the defense and believe that now is a really good time to go ahead and take that house down. Before the demolition, the families of Kaylee Gonzalez and Zana Kernodal asked the university and prosecutors to preserve the home in case it provides evidence during the murder trial. The university says prosecutors told school officials the house is so substantially different than at the time of the homicides that a jury wouldn't be authorized to see it. The defense also didn't oppose the demolition. That to me was a pretty shocking part of this because that structure of the house, the fact that it's three floors, the logistics of how this horrific murder could have happened is of critical importance in the trial for both sides. With the house gone, the university intends to create a memorial garden to honor the four students. Ivan Rodriguez, 10 News working for you.